promised we are joined now by the management of Crystal Integrated Services. We have Mr. Sanjay Dige, who is the CEO and the whole time director of the company joining us uh, on the channel. Very uh, good, uh, good afternoon to you, sir. Thank you so much for joining us on uh, ET now. And let's uh, uh, firstly understand about uh, your company, uh, the business uh, model, and also what sort of a revenue and margin expectations that you have uh, for going ahead. Because if you look at the company, uh, the margins, uh, if, you, uh, if you look at the company's uh, financials, the revenues on a year-on-year -year basis has seen substantial increase as uh, for the margins as well. Yeah, thank you for inviting me over at the ET now. I'm so happy to speak with you today. Uh, we are in the integrated facilities management space. We are uh, we are a top ranking company in the country today, and uh, we we service uh, large. Uh, we have, our businesses is government and corporate. We are doing extremely well. We have been doing extremely well uh, since inception, actually in 2000. And post listing also on 21st March uh, 2024. Uh, that was one of the reasons that we had to showcase our performance uh, um, uh, to everybody. So uh, we are one of the leading players in this IFM space. We work in the government and corporate sector. Uh, we uh, boast us of having a very diverse uh, customer base in our corporate sector. We are a pan India company. We are also one of the prominent employers in the country today. We employ more than 40, 40 44,000 people uh, across the country. Uh, and yes, as you mentioned, uh, we have been giving good performance year after year. And in the past also, we have given that a good performance this financial year, 31st March 2024, Quarter ending, we have closed at 1026 crores. And uh, we, 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 we have broken the benchmark margins and we have uh, performed better than the benchmark in this sector. So, and we, we, we really look forward to uh, continue this growth trajectory going forward. Trajectory is what I want to talk about. Last year was 45% growth in FY24. So, that is a growth trajectory we should expect, or maybe a bit of a subduteness and somewhere in 30% is what you're expecting. We, uh, uh, we have always maintained the particular zone in all our numbers. So uh, year, on, year on year growth also, we are, we are, we are targeting a 25 to 30% growth. And similarly, zones that uh, we, we are trying to achieve is uh, in the EBITDA and PAC margin. There is no reason actually to subdue the growth because uh, as we speak and uh, the way uh, uh, in our sector, the developments are happening on a pan India basis, there's a huge amount of business uh, uh, that is there to grab. And whether, whether and even the, on the corporate side, the manufacturing companies are coming in. Our, our business is connected to infra. Infra is booming. So there is no question to subdue uh, to uh, give a subdued forecast. We are very we are very very uh, confident that we will improve these numbers also in the coming year. Uh, so uh, and, and that's the way it is. The only difficulty is to pick and choose a good business. And we are very mindful about uh, choosing our business. A uh, couple of things that you know, we are our uh, business domain was spread into IFMS, uh, payroll and staffing, security and catering services. We were always present in the MET area also, which is mechanical, electrical and plumbing. But we've been seeing a good growth opportunity there. And actually, we are contemplating setting up an independent MEP uh, division in our company because of our uh, excellent relationships. We service more than 326 customers across 4,100 uh, locations pan India. There is a lot of demand for us to cater to the MEP services also. So very soon, we are setting up a complete new division uh, of MEP. And we have always been doing this business. We are just giving it a very, very strong edge so that we grab that business as well. The other thing also is uh, because we are managing many infrastructures, there is a lot of IT-based infra management services which are also required. And our customers are coming back to us saying that if you're managing this infra, why don't we just take care of this upgradation of our IT and ITS services? So that is also a good opportunity we are seeing, and I think we should be able to get some good business in that domain as well. So all well, things are looking very, very good. Definitely moving uh, the right way uh, for the company. And like you said, that uh, you all are also uh, witnessing a good traction for your businesses. But I want to ask particularly about your margin. And I stand corrected. No doubt uh, your revenue has seen a substantial increase uh, on a year on year basis. But your margins actually over the last two to three years has seen some sort of a decline coming in. A, 
Uh, if you could let us know what sort of may have contributed to that and also where do you see the margins? Now, do you think that around 7%, 7.5% would be the new normal for your company for the margin growth or are you expecting to better it? We are, we are expecting to better it, but you have asked a very good question, so I need to answer that uh, properly. Uh, that zone will remain, but as I told you, the kind of businesses that we are acquiring, we are we are trying to acquire businesses which over a period of time give, give us a better margin. Also, this is a cyclical business and uh, uh, the business keeps on going. We acquire certain customers who are really good brands and who are very strong customers. Uh, who have the ability to give us an organic growth. So maybe we acquire a business at a little lesser margin and then over a period of time reflects in a quarter or so. But at the end of the day, because we have built our, uh, we, we build our expertise and competencies and our qualifications there, over a period of time, if you say, we, we tend to come back into our zone and uh, sometimes also uh, be confident about bettering it. That, that's the confidence that I'm telling you today. So I, I try to explain you why this up and down between the margin. And it is a very natural uh, way that we uh, we have this business. And uh, also the customer, uh, the, the customer sectors that we are now in this coming year planning to acquire are very, very different sectors than we've been always working on. So it is very interesting path for us. So whether it is alternate energy, whether, whether it is uh, thermal power, uh, also retail and, uh, and, and so many other sectors in manufacturing, which are very new, including warehouse and logistics. Uh, we would love to tell you about this business acquisition also. We have two kinds of business acquisition and one comes from our existing customers and I'm very grateful to them for trusting us. And the second business acquisition comes from brand new business acquisition. So yeah, we, we, our business growth is uh, twofold. Uh, we get acquired business uh, from both these sides. Right. Uh, Sanjay, what we also want to know is, so now, how is your mix going to be changing, right? Because you are saying that obviously you're going to be focusing a bit more on the high margin business. So what is the mix going to be in the next couple of years for the company? Well, good questions. Currently, in, in the past also, our, our mix has been uh, the IFMA, staffing, payroll, security and uh, uh, catering. Now, staffing and payroll management also, we are getting very good inquiries. Uh, so that, uh, uh, that that percentage will go up. But uh, the way that I've explained to you, I think we should add, we should be able to add one more uh, uh, sector here in this four, which is maybe MEP, and that will play a very big role in this coming year. Because at the end of the day, it is centered around technology. And post our listing, there have been very, very good companies in India and abroad who have been uh, connecting with us and trying to discuss if their products can be leveraged into our services and if we are, we are very very seriously discussing uh, our associations with them so in case that also works out which we are very hopeful then not only the margins will improve but we, we will have a good engineering and technology edge in the kind of services that we provide in our own domain so that is something exciting that we are facing right now and uh, I hope in a, a couple of months, uh, we should be able to forge some good uh, associations. Coming back to your questions, yes, we may have uh, MEP coming up and emerging as one of the fifth additional uh, vertical in this, uh, amongst this uh, spread that we have. Then all the best, uh, Mr. Degay, for a very bright future for the company. All the best uh, for uh, those uh, partnerships also that will uh, you are actually looking to forge. Uh, but thank you so much for now joining us on ET Now. That was Mr. Sanjay Degay, who is the CEO and the whole time director at Crystal Integrated Services, talking about the business, uh, the uh, way forward for the revenue, the margin. And also they've also uh, categorically mentioned that they're very mindful of choosing the business uh, verticals going ahead. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.